Okay, for, for this one, I will explain about uh, how to set up uh, rendering parameters for interior rendering. So this one is 003 uh, interior rendering sample file. So first I will start with uh, lighting, uh, first rendering engine setup. So to set up rendering engine, so I'll open uh, render setup here, uh, top right corner. And then uh, first of all, I will again, I will check uh, assign renderer that your production is V-Ray education version. And then I'll check GI. So uh, I, I activated uh, enable GI and primary engine irradiance map and secondary engine light cache and that is so far now and in V-Ray tab, the second one uh, first of all, check whether uh, the image uh, sampler and tailizing uh, type is adaptive or adaptive subdivision and then secondly, go to environment uh, make sure that check uh, whether GI environment and reflection, refraction environment uh, both are checked so here, uh, these two uh, settings are activated uh, and what else let me see and then probably in the setting uh, it's okay you know you don't need to touch anything so GI uh, irradiance map light cache and irradiance map so at the beginning I will start with very low but for your final rendering I will use high or high or very high but just it will exponentially increase your rendering time so just be careful about it so this one is basically a, a rendering engine setup so I will test one and then I will just select a camera view here and then I will render it so this is the, your uh, first rendering uh, result so roughly uh, and then so this one is the one and then if you I don't know whether you like it or not if you want to change the level of brightness uh, go to rendering and go to environment and then check that uh, environment map is default uh, V-Ray uh, V-Ray you can select from V-Ray and V-Ray Sky here this one and then also check that your exposure control is selected uh, to V-Ray exposure control and then you can change the color here so you, you see that here I change uh, ISO which is uh, film sensitivity to light to 400 uh, you can make it uh, to 800, which make uh, your film sensitive, which means your rendering will be brighter. But a little bit, uh, uh, the quality of rendering will become a little bit crude. So this one is too bright. Uh, and then also you can make F number a little bit uh, darker. So I'll use 14. Then it will become darker again. And then if you want to make it even darker, you can make you can make the shutter speed higher, which is 600. And this one is the lighting setup. Okay, so so far I've explained about how to set a rendering engine and a basic environmental effect parameter, which is using V-Ray exposure control and uh, through a uh, play with uh, shutter speed and F number in ISO mainly to change uh, to control the brightness level okay thank you